Bad bugs? Bad bugs. What you gonna do? You're gonna kill them. That's what you're gonna do. That's the word from up top about these spotted lantern flies, which are spreading all across southwestern PA. Earlier, you heard how they've been seen in Washington County, and they've been in Beaver, Allegheny, and Westmoreland counties for some time now. So we wanted to get some more expert info on just why these lantern flies are so bad and how you can beat the bugs. Joining us now to talk about these unwanted pests is Shannon Powers from the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. Thanks for being here with us. Hey, it's great to be here. Yes. So, okay, first of all, earlier, you know, we found out that they do cause harm to our agriculture industry. What kind of harm are we talking about here? We're talking about economic damage. Think grapes and wine and hops and some of those uh, valuable crops that feed so much into our local economy and that we, we love those products. Yeah, and, and is there, you know, maybe like a, even a dollar amount of just how financially destructive these can be? We don't have a current estimate. There was a study done by Penn State a couple of years ago. Initially, we thought $18 billion worth Ooh. of uh, commodities and uh, products were at risk. Uh, we don't have a current estimate. They're working on updating that estimate, but we do know some of the crops that are particularly threatened, and those are grapes, the hops that uh, feed into our craft beer, some of our leading products in Pennsylvania where we were uh, we're huge. They're important to our economies and, yeah. and our stomachs. Now, I heard somebody say earlier, oh, they might look pretty when they open up their wings. No, they don't. No, they don't. Look at them on that tree stump right there. They look menacing. Can they be harmful to humans at all? They're not harmful to humans, okay. just to the stuff that we like. And one of those things is actually enjoying being outside. <laughs> yeah. Um, OK, so look, what if, speaking of outside, what if there's not much outside what if there, we don't really live near the outdoors we're in the city can they cause any damage to any of our maybe our outdoor plants or something like we might have on our balcony they can they i mean they're just a nuisance if you have a balcony and you want to be on your balcony they're everywhere mm -hmm. and they um one of the things that they do is they eat in large large volumes and they take in the sap from a tree they take in way more than they can use, and then they shoot it out the other end. Ooh. And that's stuff they call honeydew. Okay. Uh, those humorous, <laughs> humorous entomologists <laughs> named it honeydew. Not my honeydew. And uh, not my honeydew <laughs> is not <laughs> as nice as it sounds. Yeah. It coats everything. My God. That's actually a good way to tell if you have lantern flies. You can see the sticky, shiny stuff. Okay. Coating leaves underneath a tree, coating the ground. Because it, they, sh they're like little super soakers shooting the stuff out, and it coats the leaves, blocks photosynthesis. It also makes a mess. It attracts black mold and oh, stinky no. insects, and it's a pain. Oh, that just sounds nasty. Now listen. It is nasty. Oh yeah. Now so those are some of the things that we should look out for. Can we listen for them, like a locust or something, to know that they're around? They don't make any noise unless you count the noise of people stomping and screaming and, you know, <laughs> cursing. Right, that. And, and speaking of, of killing these, which, you know, they're saying you should kill them on site if you see them. Any devices, any special way to do this, to get the job done? Well, today uh, in Washington County, your neck of the woods, they uh, demonstrated, the department demonstrated what's called a circle trap. And it, it uh, You've seen maybe like sticky tape surrounding a tree mm -hmm. that looks, it's kind of like fly paper. Well, if you've used that on its, on its own to catch the insects, you might also catch things like butterflies and squirrels. Okay. And you don't want to kill, um, yeah. or, or maybe you do, but you, <laughs> you, okay. don't, you don't want to kill pollinators and things that are uh, friendly, small birds, songbirds. So you wrap it in this circle trap. It's very easy to make and the insects get trapped in there and die without any, you know, don't have to get your hands dirty. Okay, okay. Shannon, thank you, we are we are out of time, but just real quick, they're telling me to wrap. I wanna know where do we report these spotted lantern flies if we see them, who do we call? If you go to, it, you can call 1-800-4-BAD-FLY. Okay. -bad -fly. okay. Yeah, and you right. can find information online at agriculture.pa.gov slash spotted lantern fly. All right, awesome. Shannon, thanks for joining us tonight. Hopefully people put this, uh, this advice to good use. Great, thanks. <laughs> thanks.